Hey there, Becky here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use your own image as the horizontal line in your Squarespace website. What we're going to be doing is uploading your image to Squarespace, and then we're gonna use some custom code to tell any browser when it loads the horizontal line element to replace it with your image as the background. I'm also going to show you how you can update this code to make that line a little bit larger and how you can have it repeat horizontally or vertically so it looks just perfect for the site style that you have in mind. Now the code I'm using today is in the description below, but I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through it so you understand what you need to change to make it look great on your own website. So let's hop into my demo site and get started. So here we are in my demo site, and this right here is the code we're using. I do wanna mention I am using Squarespace 7.1, but this is the exact same code you'll need for Squarespace 7. Any version you're using, this one's gonna work for you. What we're basically doing here is saying, okay, here's your horizontal line, as we see on the top and the bottom here. I want you to make the background color of it transparent, and instead show this background image. And I'll show you exactly where to get the URL that you're gonna to wanna to use for that part right there. After that, we're saying keep that background image inside the size of that horizontal line and center it. And then I'm also mentioning don't repeat it. So we just get one instance of the line. I'll tell you how to change that part later if you want it to repeat to fill in the width of your entire page there. Then we also have height set to 10px. I'll show you what happens when we change that, okay? So to add this information, we're gonna hop over to design and then scroll down to custom CSS. Now, I'm just gonna copy this right out of my demo site and paste the whole code right there. And in this center part where it says your URL here, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the backspace button. You'll notice those two lines that we had here before, they're gone because I went ahead and told the browser, make it transparent with this line right here. So that's why we're not seeing them anymore. So let's replace that with an image. On the very bottom, you'll see a button that says manage custom files. I'm gonna click on that button and right here, I can either click this to open my file explorer, or if you're like me and you already have the file open, just drag and drop it right in there. Now it's really important that our cursor's right here between those two single quotation marks, because when I click open to my manage custom files here, as soon as I click on this image, the URL for that file is going to be placed right there between those quotes. You'll see this is now hosted on Squarespace, and you'll notice we have these two lines showing up where there's horizontal lines used to be. Pretty awesome, right? Now the particular line that I'm using in this image is very small, so I can actually change this height value right here. Let's say 30 px and take a look at that. There we go, now my line's gotten even bigger. What it's doing is where we've said background size contain, it doesn't want it to go larger than the top and the bottom height of that now where it says background size contain, that part's really important. When we adjust this to 30 px, that increases the distance between the top and the bottom, that increases the height of that particular object. So for the background to be contained in there, that can stretch it to appear a little bit larger. Now, let's say you want it repeated all the way across to the side there. Right now we have it set to no repeat. We can change this to repeat x if we want it to repeat horizontally. And I'll go ahead and change this back down to 10 so you can see if we reduce that height and repeat it horizontally, it's gonna put a lot of instances of that particular background image. And I can also repeat it vertically. I can say repeat Y. And right now we only see one because the height is so small, but if we adjust that to like 120, it'll give me three variations of it, stacking them on top of each other so that it fits within that shape. It'll give me as many instances on the Y axis as I'd like. Now, personally, I like to use this as a single horizontal line, so I generally leave this as no repeat. That means it won't repeat vertically, it won't repeat horizontally, and I can just use this height value to change the actual size of it and how it's displayed on my site, okay? I'm just gonna walk you through that one more time. Let's reset everything and select save. All the way back here in the very beginning, we're going to copy this text right here in the description beneath the video. We're gonna select design and then custom CSS. I'll paste that right here in my code and right where it says your URL here, I need to remove that text and select manage custom files. Now you can drag or drop an image in here or you can click this arrow to open up the file explorer on your own computer there. I already have the image, I'm just gonna click it and there we go. It's now been placed, that URL has been placed between those quotation marks and my line has been updated. I want it to be a little bit bigger so I'm gonna change the height to 30 That'll help it stretch out a little bit more because the heights increase, the image can zoom in on a little bit and the background set to center. It's not repeating and it's going to be contained in the container for my horizontal line. 
Alrighty, that's it for this tutorial. Again, the codes are listed in the description below. Be sure to play around with that value for height to make that line look amazing on your own website. And if you want it to repeat horizontally or vertically, those codes are also listed below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something awesome. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. With over 30 pages of pro tips and code snippets specific for Squarespace, you can customize your site way beyond your design menu. Download your copy today at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.